Hello there, Cancer. Welcome. Okay, this is going to be a reading from March 20th to March 31st. So let's see what the guys, angel and guys, messages they had for you first. So we have, your life is about to change. Stay the course and you will come out on top. Wow. Okay. Then we have, karma is playing out in this situation for better or worse. You'll reap what you sow. And we have, finally, what you have been waiting for for so long is coming to fruition. It was worth the wait. By waiting is better than you could have ever imagined. Congratulations. And we have, your energy vibration is on the rise. Lower vibration people will be falling away from you. Let them go. It's all, it's all for your highest good. Okay. So if you see people dropping off and they gave you, you know, hassles and their burden, that's the universe clearing them out. You are going to go through a major change. Your life is never going to be the same again. This is a rebirth. You will come out stronger and wiser and much happier. Wow. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. It's interesting. I like this. A lot of changes. Ch -ch 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 changes. Let's see. We have... The star. Wow, what a way to start. Aquarius energy. This says, have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. Whoa. What a way to start. And then we have Eight of Swords. The illusion of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. So this is saying, this is all an illusion. Are you feeling trapped? You're feeling stuck? You don't know what to do? That you can't do something? No, you can't. The fear is unwarranted. I know it doesn't feel that way. And I, I'm don't, you know, I'm just trying to help you along here. Because you are the star. And you can get all this happiness coming to you. And there's an end coming. The end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both the opportunity for new happiness a weight off your shoulders the end of addiction a melodramatic um reaction okay so there's something coming to end maybe something this world whatever this was that you're worried about it's coming to the end and then we have the sun the happiest card in the deck leo energy a time of great joy and success brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities plans that work out perfectly gratitude to the divine okay you're gonna be grateful for something coming in here okay now why do we have the star for cancer why is the star here Ooh, there's gonna be a connection coming in look at that a love connection this soulmate connection lovers it's like um yeah this could, uh, could be a partnership this will also be a partnership in business. And we, oh, Ace of Swords. Getting to the truth. Cutting out what doesn't belong. Like these people that are draining your energy. You're cutting them out because you got new beginnings. You're vibrating at a higher frequency. You can't, you know, they can't keep up with you. What about this Eight of Swords? Why do we have the Eight of Swords here? Yes, you're going to be victorious here. You're going to, people are going to notice your work. You're going to get recognized for your work. And, you know, you got the story oh boy this is this is excellent okay what about this ten of swords the tens are always ending so whatever this is that was really hard is ending and also the ten these burdens are over the endings once this ends whatever this is it's going to bring those burdens with them and you're going to be balancing balancing your life out here might have to make a decision here too but you have a two here a two here so definitely decisions coming up for you you're gonna have to decide on something okay now let's go to the next row what else do we have for cancer here what is going on i like in this reading things are changing and we have the seven of swords so it's a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom take caution and be aware of others actions a material loss make sure you are being honest with yourself embarrassing secrets okay Someone is, is kind of deceptive around you, but we'll clarify that. We'll see what's going on with that. So I might be trying to steal something from you. Strength. Okay, so we have the strength card here. A personal power of assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger than you know. 
Leo energy coming in strong here. Wow. You can handle whatever it is that they're throwing at you. And then we have the Ace of Air, Ace of Swords, which, do we have that? Sorry. Okay, so now we have brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely. Remain objective. Now see, that's going right with here. Endings, cutting out what does not belong, cutting out the people that don't belong, cutting out these people that are trying to um, betray you. And we do have, wow, now we have the ten of earth. Look at all these tens. These are endings, but it's bringing in all this happiness. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family, tradition, pride in the family. Um, treat, passing on knowledge. Yeah, but this is like, this is a long-term commitment. This is also financial abundance. It's coming in for you. Whatever this was, that a rough time for you is ending. And a new, um, you're starting a new cycle here, it seems like, and it's bringing in a lot of abundance. Okay, what about the Seven of Swords? We got to know what's going on with the Seven of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Wands. So whatever this, whatever's happening here, you have the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new exciting beginning, a new passionate beginning. So a creative new beginning. So this is canceling out whatever someone's trying to, they might be jealous of, of what you're achieving. We also have Pisces here, the Hangman. So seeing things in a new perspective, or you could be dealing with a Pisces. What about the strength card? Okay, being stuck. Now that's what we had over here. Being stuck in your head. You got to get out of your head. You have the strength. You can do this. This person is not really stuck. They can take off the blindfold. They can untie these. Um, They're not tied tight, and they can walk right through the swords. What about this Ace of Swords? The star again. Wow. Yes, you you are breaking through any kind of barrier. New things are coming in. Uh, conversations, um, information. And you are the star. Um, this is your dreams and wishes and hopes come true. You got the star twice. You got it in each deck. We also have the moon. Pisces energy again. So this is um, something hidden. A lot of emotions. Something is being hidden from you at this time. But it's going to be. It's going to come to light. Okay. You might be a very emotional at this time, too. We have the Four of Air. The Four of Swords. And this is time to take a, maybe a breather here. Insight that comes from meditation. The need to rest or to take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep. Well, I would say you have mental exhaustion. You got the two eights of swords here. And then we have another four here. We have, um, this is the four of water, four of cups. Failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, the distraction of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world. Wake up. Wake up. Pick your head up when you're walking. <laughs> You know, see what's around you. You might be missing someone. <laughs> I should have said something, but it said someone. Someone might be looking at you and you're looking down at your phone or you're looking down as you're walking. You're not even seeing them. Renewal. Okay. We have nine of wands of the bomb. So this says protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. Don't forget to ask your angels for help, whatever you need help with. Now we have renewal. This is like the judgment card. Something come back around. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. See? There's something coming back around though. Okay, why do we have the four swords for an ear here? For cancer? Wow, another four, four of pentacles. So now we have swords, pentacles, and cups. Three fours, that's the angel number, four, four, four. Nice, the angels are around you, and they just said that, you know, we just had something about ask the angels for help. Um, Yeah, ask your angels for help, and you got the angel number, 
Ah, that's more confirmation for me. So something's hanging on to something, holding on to something, maybe keeping something close to you. Almost feeling like you're not opening up here. You're not opening up to the opportunities is what I'm getting here. That there are opportunities, but you're not seeing them and you're not opening up to them because you don't believe that is, is true or that could come. I almost feel like you're you're closing yourself off because you are being... Now, I know I'm, I just mean this to help you being obstinate about all oh, this has never happened. Like seeing the glass half empty instead of half full in some circumstance here. Could be work. It could be love. Um, but I, and that's not for everyone. I'm just getting that for somebody. One person probably. And why do we have four of cups? Yeah, something hidden again. We have this um emotions. You're hiding your emotions. You're not you're not expressing yourself. And there's a lot of emotions built up here, it feels like Pisces energy. And what about this renew? Ooh, there might be someone coming back from the past, a love from the past or something. Ooh, and we also have the tower here with the devil right underneath. I, I feel like whoever this devil is, they're coming crashing down. This is Capricorn energy. This is someone that is um is not very nice. And it seems like they're, you know, we didn't we get the thing of a karma? Yeah, I feel like this goes with the karma one. Karma is playing out in this situation for better or worse. You'll reap what you sow. I feel like someone is getting their comeuppings here. For how they treated you and this is what's coming in this is change this is destruction there's something falling apart here and also when things change you have the star twice and after the tower comes the star so whatever this is that changes abruptly for in your life is bringing you a lot of happiness and it's also bringing down the people that cause your pain or suffering here which is probably what this is here too that is come back to that someone trying to get away with something someone trying to do something to you but you come out ahead because of this something manifests in your life that is amazing because of them trying to do something to you against you and it's all going to come back on them wow that is intense but you know i don't have any I don't have any court cards here to throw some I want to do the words let me see let me do um let's see if we get anything on this this star with the two of cups because that could be a business partnership that could be a love partnership what's the scoop on this what is the scoop tell me something on this I can't believe there's not one court card here we have player very soon lover Ooh. so someone that was a player is coming into your life and they're gonna be your lover <laughs> <laughs> okay, so be careful with that one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's let's pull something on this one then. We have the seven of swords with the ace of wands. We have single, confused, forget. <laughs> well, if you're confused, you do forget, or if you're or if you forget things, that does make you confused. So. What is that? I almost feel it's this energy of this person that's trying to betray you. They're a single person. I don't think they're with anyone. And I think they get confused and they forget things. Now, if that makes any sense to anyone, I don't know. But I feel like, it, I mean, this does not have to be a love interest. This could be anybody in your life. But I feel like if there's someone that you know that is on their own, they're not, you know, in any kind of relationship. And they always seem like they're forgetting and confused. That's that's probably just confirming who the person is. Okay. Um, okay, let's do it. Um, the last one I'll do it on is this Six of Cups here. See if we get anything on that. Just like I never did one reading with none of these coming up when I'm doing them. Expect. Fast. Friends. Okay, you might be making friends fast here they might be just all of a sudden these new people are coming into your life and you're making a lot of friends all right let's just see if you get rid of the old ones that are no good you know you need to um make room for new so sometimes like in a relationship where you hang on to a past relationship that's not going anywhere that's keeping you from meeting the right one okay so let's get into what signs we could be dealing with for you what are the signs Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Look at that. All the fire signs. Q. 
Cancer. And there you are. And then Aries again. It's very strong Aries. And Aries is always the is also the tower too. You have Scorpio and Aries for the tower. And then you have Aries here twice. So if someone the Aries could be very prominent. Now that could be the person that you're interested in and love interest. It also could be the person that's causing trouble here too. Because it is the tower and you know so take it as it resonates, leave what you know doesn't. And um so I want to thank you all. Please leave comments to let me know if it resonates. And I'm gonna thank you all. I love you guys for all the, your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And if you want to get notified every time I, I load up the videos, please um, hit the bell. And then you'll be notified with an email that there's a new video to be viewed. So if you guys are leaving us now and you're not staying for the names, uh, I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much. And for those of you that want to be here for the names, let's see what we have here. Let's see. T. For T, we have Tamara, Tamika, Tammy, Tamra, Tandra, Tanja, T Tasha, T, Teresa, T E R E S A, Teresa, uh, I don't know how, T E R E S S A, Temi, and then Teresa, T H E R E S A, Thomas, Tiffany, Timothy, Tina, Tino, Tulsha, T Turner, Tyler, Tyrell, and Tyrone. Okay. And we have C's. Okay, this is the longest one. And we have Callie, Calvin, Camille, Cara, Carl, Carla, Carlene, Carmen, Caroline, Carrie, Cassandra, Charles, Charlie, Chase, Chastity, Chauncey, Cherise, Chachita, Chatina, Chris, Christy, Christina, Christopher, Christy, Claren, or, yeah, that I? Claire, Karen, got Claren, and then we have C I A R A N, and then we have Cindy with an I E, Cindy with a Y, Clara, Claudia, Clements, Colleen, Colin, Connie, Corey, Penelia, Courtney, Crystal, and Cynthia. That's the longest. Let's see. F's. For F's, we have Fantoma, Fabian, Fabio, Falala, Fato, Federico, Felicia, Flynn, Francisina, Francis, Frankie and Franny and Jays. For Jays, we have Jack, Jackie, Jacqueline, Jamar, Jamesy, Jamie, Gerard, Jared, Jason, J, JB, Jika, Jeanette, Janine, Jeff, Janine. Um, it's spelled J E N E E N. Then we have G E N G E A N I N E. Then we have Jennifer, Jessica, Jesse, Joan, Joanna. Joanna, Jody, Joe, jo Johan, John, Jordan, Jose, Joseph, Josh, Joshua, Julie, and Justin. Ooh, <laughs> last one. That is another J, so we're not doing J twice. A, okay. And we have Admin, Adkill, Alexander, Amanda, and Amna, Amy, Andrea, Andrew, Annetta, Angie, Angel, Angelica, Anika, Angeli, A N J A L I, Anna, Anna, Anita, A N N I N D I T A, Aquila, Ariana, Ashish, Boston, and Avery. Okay, there you go, guys. Those are the names for today. For your sign up. Okay, so um, thank you so much, and I hope it resonated with you. Please leave me comments, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.